We're here with Forrest Lucas, the founder of Lucas Oil, and Forrest, uh, very crowded around your booth here already, and you're involved in so many aspects of motor racing, and uh, you have been responsible through MAV-TV and the efforts of Bob Pattison and his wife with the TV effort, in-house production, you took everything in. You're promoting tractor pulling, boat racing, drag boats, uh, sports that you don't see promoted. How about let's start with that. You know, if you turn the TV on the map TV, there's got to be a motorsport on there for you. Well, <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of motorsports on the map TV. There's also a lot of car shows. There's not enough racing to have full time uh, race uh, just racing, but. Yeah, MAV, it, MAV has been a big deal for us. Uh, it, it's a big thing to actually, as a company, to take something that was nothing and create in this atmosphere out here uh, a, a television channel, you know. But it's been especially good for the racing industry, the Saturday night racers, you know. There was the time there, about 08 08 and 09, that, what, you know, that there was a lot of racing starting to fall apart. So we had, we were already involved with a lot of racing, but we picked up a lot of those series uh, that were falling apart and put them back together and uh, invested money into them. We had to take a loss for a while in some of them, you know, but got them back to where they they got sponsors, they got they got everything they need, you know, and, and there were, when they come to town, people come out and see them. So I think we've done a lot for sh Short track racing. I think we own six different series now. We sponsor a couple others, so we have something to do with about all the short track racing. I call it short track or race, Saturday night racing, or whatever you want to call it. But it's, it's the guys that were getting nothing. You had to come and buy a ticket to see them, but now you can see them on TV and they get sponsors. You know, sponsor sees the name on. You know how sponsorship works. So uh, it's. Uh, I feel good about that because we made it successful and. Uh, and got good thing for us, business for us, as, as well as uh, a lot of other people that followed us in, the right. sponsorship. I, was, I, want, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the PRI show. You know, the story of your career, which I've detailed in PRI magazine many times with the, with the interviews we've done. You came from basically being a truck driver. You yeah. developed uh, an additive and, uh, and then oils, and one thing led to another, and here you are today, and things have just boomed. But... We've, we've detailed that in the pages of PRI many times, but what a lot of people may not know about you is that you like to raise cattle, and you also have a, a dear to your heart uh, effort with Protect the Harvest, and I'd love for you to tell our viewers about Protect the Harvest and why it's important to Forrest Lucas. Okay, I appreciate you asking that question. It is a big deal to me because we... Uh, we fought the big battle against the HSUS, Humane Society of the United States. Now, that's the guys you see on television uh, talk with a poor old cat and a poor old dog and uh, send money, you know, they'll, they'll come to Alder Voice, you know, and we'll, we'll take care of them. Well, that money goes to them. It doesn't go to animal. They are about animal rights, which means that eventually, if they have their way, the animals will have rights. That means you won't be able to do anything with the animals and they have got actually colleges right now who are teaching lawyers how to sue you with using your pet as the uh the sewer wow. and, and but then there's animal welfare they're trying to make you think it's a, they're about animal welfare they're not they don't care anything about animal welfare we care about animal welfare i mean i have animals i've been raised on a ranch a farm all my life and have had lots of dogs and got lots of cattle right now and horses uh, so that's what we're trying to let people know. Quit sending those guys money because they're using it against you. They're vegans. They want to stop anybody from having any meat. You know, that's mm -hmm. really the facts of the matter. And it's hard to believe. But there's nobody fighting them. When I got done fighting my battle there in Missouri, you know, where I, I whipped them, but it took three months to do it. And I, I found out that I was by myself. You know, there's a lot of people who have been terrorized by these guys. And lots of people are still terrorized by them, but a lot of people are, are coming out of it right now because they know Protect the Harvest is out here doing something about it. So uh, if, if you don't do anything else, go to, just go to protecttheharvest.com and look it up and uh, read about these guys. You need to just quit sending them money. 
Well, Mike uh, is my cameraman. He's been with me the whole show. Mike, I, I just want to let you and everybody else know that this man right here cares. Uh, he could have done a lot of things with his life, and he's doing a lot of good for a lot of people. And the last question I have for you, Forrest, is the PRI show. How important is that to what you do in, in, the, in the oil and the motorsports industry? Well, this is, this is a big deal to everybody in the motorsports industry, you know. Uh, we're established, but you never get established enough that you don't need to come here and, and talk to your customers, you know. Uh, hoping you sell some new business, but you want to come here and thank your customers you got. So it works both ways. Uh, but it's very, very important. And you know what? I'm so glad to see this thing come back to Indianapolis. Because we, we, were, we were, when we started the company, we were doing it in Ohio. Remember when it was in Ohio? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We were both towns. And then we came to here. And we outgrew the stadium, you know, the, 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 the uh, convention center, you know. And we had to quit for a while and we went to uh, Florida. I didn't care about that place down there at all. Uh, but to get it come back here, this, the, actually the stadium was built because they needed a spot where the RCA Dome was to enlarge this building. So while they're at it, let's make this nice, really great, big, wonderful, Convention or the, uh, the football the foot, stadium. Yeah, the stadium, make the stadium, which we ended up sponsoring that, <laughs> you know. The oil stadium. You <laughs> stadium, and it all came about the PRI show because yeah. they wanted to get the PRI show so bad back into Indiana. The governor did, everybody did. So that's that the way it happened. Amazing. That is, isn't it? Well, you know, I'm going to end on this, Mike, if you just pull back a little bit. I just want to tell a quick story. The first time I ever met Forrest Lucas, I didn't even know who Forrest Lucas was, and you and Charlotte were standing outside of a, of a media center in Maple Grove Raceway in, in Pennsylvania, and we were both standing outside, and we just struck up a conversation, and we talked for about 45 minutes, and Forrest was asking me, you know, what did I do, and he was showing just a nice guy, and then it turned out it was Forrest Lucas I was talking to, and I said to myself, I said, that guy's going places. And this is, oh, many years. I you were running an alcohol dragster yeah, at the yeah, time. That's right. But Forrest, God bless you, sir. <laughs> this was you. a great interview. Thank you very much. All I appreciate right. it, really.